Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kahilo or K, and this is the start of a new vlog. I feel so great. I'm starting a new project, and it is pajama day according to Malika, aka Mr. Robin, who is reading right now and hiding her face and wearing Kalila's <laughs> weekend hat. <laughs> it's a beanie. It's called weekend hat. It's a bee. Well, the weekend hue, which means hat. Anyway, Kalila looks just like us at some point today. I will probably no, show you go. what she looks like. Fine. Let's go. Crazy, crazy, crazy till we see the sun. <laughs> Hello. Hello. She's wearing what we're wearing the and jammies. working on the Cargill. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, why y'all marching in here? <laughs> <laughs> what Let's is happening? See. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm on the second sleeve over there. Finally. Right. Oh, that looks good. That makes me want to start knitting some more texture. Heck yeah. Oh, it's time. We will be doing the Arctic Light by Kuta Vakika. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. Don't know when, but yeah. Anyway, toodles. Not you guys. Kalila. Bye. Bye. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> How do you know I was gonna say that? Because I would. I'm still. Okay, anyway. I started a new project, a new test knit, guys. Okay, don't come at me with all that energy. This is my third test knit, okay? But this one has the deadline that is the soonest. Is that a word? Mm. It's soonerest. <laughs> and. Yeah, it's a sweater! So at the end of my last vlog, I was talking about how I'm having sweater withdrawals and I'm just like, bro, I need a sweater, I need a sweater, I need a sweater. And then Kika from Kutuba Kika, she was like, hey, looking for testers for my stripe hype sweater. I'll insert a picture and I was just like, the deadline is in like two weeks and five days from today. And I was just like, Let's do it, okay? I've knitted plenty of sweaters in two weeks without even trying, so let's do it now, intentionally, because I need to. And plus, this gives me time to use up yarn from my stash because I'm trying to get rid of all of my hand-dyed yarn. Even after selling so many hanks, I still have so many left. So I'm double-stranding fingering. I have two different colors of hand-dyed yarn that I'll be using for the stripes. And I showed it at the end of my last video. I really don't feel like pulling it out because I already have it situated. So as I work on this project, you guys will see. You guys will see soon anyway, because I'm about to change colors. And in Kika's sweater, she has like, like five, six different colors. And I'm just like, mm, I don't wanna do all of those colors. I just want a nice, beautiful striped sweater, like two colors because I haven't, I haven't knitted up a striped sweater before. And this is drop shoulder, so I'm very excited. And I literally got accepted to the test knit yesterday, which is great. So I'm starting it today. This is what I have so far. Boom, boom, bam. And I have to complete this in two weeks. So <laughs> I'm very excited for this little challenge. I'm going to put all my other projects away and literally solely focus on this. So let's see how much I can knit in a week. This could be a how much I can knit in a week type of vlog. Yeah. Instead of a conventional vlog, we shall see. It depends on how I'm feeling. But yeah, let's see how much I can knit in a week. I like that. Right now, I'm currently editing my video for today. I need to hurry up and finish editing it, post it. It's 20 minutes already and I still have an hour left to go. So let me finish that and knit this at the same time and then I'll come back to you guys with some updates. So let's get it. It's currently Saturday. Yeah. camera is down low 
We have Murder Mystery 2 on the TV. Malika is right here doing her thing. She was knitting, but now she's on her oh, laptop. She's like, Kalila is coming <laughs> at some point, whenever. And we have some dip that Malika made that is chilling right now in the fridge. And then we'll have it some chips. This is my progress. I'm having it with carrots and cucumbers. No chips? I'm, I'm having it with carrots and cucumbers. And I'm asking no chips? Oh, I get what you're asking. No. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, I'll have it with chips, carrots, and cucumbers. Why not? Anyway, this is my progress for today so far with my sweater. Boom. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. Look at that. This is like a day's worth of work. And I have like this stripe and another stripe before I start on another section, which is so great. I'm like, listen, I'm trying to stay up tonight and get a lot done. Like I said, I have two weeks and five days to get this project done, which, hey, that's exciting for me. So anyway, and it's so nice doing stripes, especially putting these two colors together because it's like, what are these two colors doing together you know like what i just saw two colors in my stash and i was just like hmm because i was going to use them for the milan sweater by petite knit but then i got this test knit and so i was like oh okay well instead of you know doing a little melange of them together even though this would have been so great as a nice little marled look you know, stripes are still great, so I was just like, you know what, I like when two things don't seem like they would go together and meshing them together and making them work because it's just me and I can make anything work. So yeah, I'm very excited. I will show you guys more progress tonight because I am staying up a little later than the usual because like I said, I want to get more progress in this, so I'll show you guys as I keep going, but I'm very excited. I'm, I'm getting that nice feeling from knitting a sweater, okay? Just knowing that this is going to be a sweater, I feel great. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I'll update you guys. One more peek. Good morning guys, it's the next day, it's Sunday, <sighs> and today is just my relaxing day. Today is the one day that I don't work out with my sisters, we just take a nice little chill day, and we usually switch it between Saturdays and Sundays depending on how we feel and stuff. We still walked for a mile yesterday, not three miles that we usually do, but we're like, let's still be active at least on one day of the weekend, so we just flip back and forth depending on the day. Today's off day is Sunday, and it's nice and chill so i'm very excited i can get a lot of knitting done today tomorrow is going to be my jam-packed day so i'm excited to have this nice little chill day so let me show you guys what i got done yesterday so this is what i got done i keep rolling this down because there's an extra stripe right there okay just so you guys know but yeah so i'm on a new stripe right now the green stripe but this so much i got done yesterday while editing at the same time now that i'm starting my day earlier as in it's 801 and i started my day yesterday knitting on and off at like 11 12 whatever while editing at the same time so yeah i could have gotten more done yesterday but i just did it because i was doing stuff as well so today i'm hoping to be able to join in the round for the body hopefully that feels a little ambitious but at the rate that i'm going i think i could possibly get it done either way it'll just be cool to see how much i can get done today in general because like i said this vlog i'm focusing on how much i can get done in a week which i'm very excited for so yeah Hello guys, we just finished watching some of Hamilton, Malika and Kalila can't stop singing it, just you lay, just you lay, and granted, you know, that's our favorite show, show, 
My favorite movie, musical, album, all of the above. It's so great. I'm so sorry. No, oh, you're fine. Anyway, we are trying to find Knives Out. It's no longer on Netflix, only Glass Onion. I thought it was a Netflix movie, but I guess not. I guess not the first one. So we're going to get that movie, watch Knives Out tonight. And let me show you the progress on my, I was going to call this a tea, on my sweater. Okay, guys, I said I wanted to be on a body by the time, you know, this day ended. Boom! I'm in the round, guys. Look at that. You said, look around, look around, look at I'm in the round, in the round. This is so great. Ah, this is so exciting. So, as you guys know, I'm not, you know. You're not sorry. Sorry. I'm not, like, changing for different colors, like, the original I'm just using two colors which is cool so yeah I want a body and that that's it so yeah look at this you know this is the armhole other armhole the body and it's just time to make a progress on a body day two and we're going strong let's see if by like day four or five I can finish the body that would be crazy. That would be cool, but crazy. Finish the body and then do the neckline and then the sleeves. Yeah. guys Malika is playing with a cat in the background she's playing with her underneath the door you can't even see anyway she has her tea also blocking right there anyway it's blocking. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my progress for the day because I'm about to retire to bed and to sleep and read you're gonna sleep I'm going You're to read. Me? I'm leaving you, yes. Good. So, anyway, I'm so excited. I got so much progress. It doesn't look like I did because it's just, you know, it's just stripes. Okay? But I put a progress keeper. Okay? And that is my progress for today. From here to here. So, great progress. I'm very excited. I'll change the progress keeper tomorrow or like I'll move it you know higher when I start tomorrow but I will say I am yeah I'm like halfway done with the body I am almost done I'm not gonna say how many stripes I have left but I have a few stripes left more than a few I'm just saying a few just because and I'm hoping to, mm, I don't know, I'm hoping to reach the ribbing tomorrow. Based on today's progress, I can almost get there tomorrow, but if I knit more tomorrow than I did today, like I give myself at least a couple hours more of knitting, I could definitely get that done. So that's going to be the goal tomorrow, reach the ribbing. I don't have to start the ribbing. I can at least reach the ribbing, which will be great because then the next day I can finish the ribbing and then work on the collar because I would want to take pictures with the collar done and a body done and it's, you know, it's just going to look like a sweater and then I just have the sleeves left. So yeah, the literal the literal hardest part of the sweater is done because it wasn't even hard at all. This is like beginner friendly for real. See you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, it is day. Hold on, there's a stream playing. It's mute. Today's day three or four. You count the day you started as day one because technically the 20th to the 23rd will be day three. But it's like if you count the 20th, it's like. I worked on the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, and today's the 23rd, so it's technically like the fourth day, 
but we're just gonna go by the numbers. This is day three of working on a sweater. It is currently 11.20 and I'm finally sitting down eating breakfast and I knitted a little bit, but I'm gonna knit more today. The fan in the background is new and loud, so that is what you guys are hearing and sorry if I'm crooked, I just really, I don't feel like fixing my camera. Malika is here. <laughs> And she is watching a stream with me. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to knit. Okay, guys, let's try to reach the ribbing, please. That would be so great. Guys, it's the next day. Yeah. Evening slash night. And... I did it. I did not finish the body, but I reached the ribbing. Hallelujah. I reached the ribbing. I need to change the three millimeter needles and my three millimeter needles are on a t another test knit. Do you have three millimeter needles? Did Kalila give it to you? Malika has needles. And yeah, I just need to transfer my stitches from this to that, but look at Look at all this progress. <gasps> my battery's gonna die. Okay, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <gasps> ah! Let's go. I miss knitting sweaters. Oh, that's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna do the body ribbing and then the neckline. Okay, okay. I don't know all tonight, but it will happen by tomorrow. So. It is Thursday and I'm like, all right, let me film in the daytime, not the nighttime. This is my ribbing so far. Oh my God, you can see my ugly increases. Don't look at that. I mean, decreases. Ah! Don't look at that, okay? It'll look good once I block it, okay? Anyway, look at this ribbing, this twisted rib. Ah! Oh my God, dude, it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so sturdy. I haven't done twisted ribs since my terrazzo sweater. Oh my gosh, my terrazzo sweater. I love that sweater. That was great. But yeah, so I am enjoying twisted rib. It's making me think like, should I just add this as ribbing on my other projects and make it look all like beautifully sophisticated and stuff? Hmm. Huh? I don't know but anyway I think tomorrow it's looking at my calendar I think tomorrow makes a week since I started working on this sweater no it does not <laughs> in two days it makes a week since I've been working on this sweater so I've been working on it since the 20th and it's the 25th right now and I'm about to finish up the body today okay I still have a lot more to go but I am closer than before and my goal is to finish the body today and at least get through most of the neckline if not finish all of the neckline. I mean the neckline, the collar, jeez. Finish all of the collar. I think Kalila might be staying up tonight so I can try and stay up until at least midnight. You know, just pull up something to watch and just stay up because that would be great. My cats are fighting. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Hi. Guys, Kalila finished her cargo and it looks so good. I did. You wanna see? You wanna see? You wanna see? Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> I finished mine last year. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I've had this as a whip since October last year, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. I just took pictures. Pop it up right here, haha. Huh, huh. You have to pop add it up picture. right there for you guys, y'all. <laughs> and now I'm excited because burritos on Kalila. Oh, mm. y'all. Anyway, toodles, time for a time lapse. Hello guys, 
So today's the last day to vlog and also, you know, the last day of how much can I knit in a week on this test knit. And I just finished this collar. Look, let's, let's just look at this twisted rib. Beautiful collar. And I made it longer <laughs> on accident than it was supposed to be. Just by like, like literally by like this much. You can't even see that exactly. So it looks like it would be super tight and like I won't be able to like get in, like get it over my head. No. Twisted rib is an illusion. And then I did my bind off loosely. <sighs> I love it so much. But yeah, this thing is super stretchy, which is very exciting because when it blocks out, it's going to be so good. And this is what, you know, the bottom looks like. I don't know if I showed you guys, but yeah. So this is how much I can get done in a week, guys. I just have the sleeves left and I still have a week left for this test knit. I don't have my phone. Okay. I have until June 8th. That's the deadline for this test knit. And I'm going to be finished before then. Like, let me give myself, let's say, two days per sleeve. Especially if I start today. And then I, I need to edit a video, so I need to factor that in. But giving myself two days per sleeve. Let's see. Today is the 26th. So let's give myself the 27th, the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th. I can be done by the end of the month. So I'm going to give myself until the 31st to finish these sleeves. I'm going to be finished by the freaking 31st, guys. I have never knitted so fast in my life. I'm not even trying to knit fast. But maybe my, since my brain is aware of the deadline... It's just like, let's knit. And I'm just like knitting like a mad woman. But I'm not trying. I'm just knitting. My wrists and my hands feel great. I still take the same amount of breaks. Like, yeah. I'm just so excited. I'm so glad I stuck with two colors instead of like having a bajillion colors. Because I feel like it's more uniform that way. And plus I just needed to get these hanks out of my sash anyway. So. <laughs> I'm so excited seeing this neckline like this this, this looks so cool I love the you know different color oh from the main color I'm just so excited I'm so excited for the sleeves because then the sleeves will complete it I'm so excited for the sleeve ribbing oh gosh let's let's get start I mean I still have to do a bunch of things this morning so my day hasn't started just yet but I did like before I completed my morning routine I'm like let me finish this neckline because it's not gonna take long at all so sleeves oh yeah I'm so excited and the collar is was done last but I wanted to do the collar first so that I can like visualize and see what the sweater will look like in just see that it, you know, it looks like a sweater and it looks so good. I don't like when a sweater doesn't have a neckline when I'm working on things. Like, I like to finish the body and then do the neckline. Or start with the neckline, finish the body. Sleeves are always last for me. So, I mean, usually. Usually they're last for me. <sighs> I just wanted to, I was trying this on and I was just like, you know what? Let me film because I usually forget to film with the actual project on for you guys. And I'm like, let me hurry up and film while I'm feeling it in the moment. And uh, as you guys know, like I said a bajillion times, I was having sweater withdrawals. And this is just making me so happy. This is like the perfect sweater. The perfect sweater, bro. And oh my gosh, highly recommend when a pattern comes out, whenever that is. Sometime in June, obviously. Uh, I'm just, I'm just so excited. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited to start this sleeve. I have so many ends that I'm not going to weave in. So stay tight. Anyway, I'm just glad this collar isn't tight. And I can easily get in and out of it. Like that that can make or break a sweater slash top for me. Like if I cannot get my head through the opening. And this is great. So 
I'm excited to block it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay, let me stop talking. I need to. I need to continue get my day started because this is the last day, and I want to get at least a little bit of sleeve done to show you guys. You know, by the time I finish this video, and then I'm filming a podcast tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday, while starting a new vlog as well, while editing this video between today and tomorrow, and trying to get through halfway of this sleeve. So. Lots happening. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to show this off in my podcast, which will be out on Monday. I usually like to post my podcast on Monday, so be on the lookout for Monday because this is tomorrow's video. And then I'll have Monday, which I haven't filmed a podcast in so long. So that might be long, but it might not. But it's probably going to be long, which I'm excited for. So yeah. Anyway, like I said, let me go. Okay, see you guys. recap of how much I can knit in a week I guess less than a week because it's the 26th and I started on the 20th but if I count the day of the 20th it is seven days so let's not even get into it especially get into how many weeks are in a month and what counts as a month and stuff like that bro when I start thinking about that <laughs> my brain uh, -uh I just get like Okay, let me let me just stop thinking right now because uh, mm -mm. anyway, so I got some oh, look at my shiny forehead as usual. I got some progress on my sleeve, so let's show you guys. So like I showed you earlier, I finished the neckline and I have like all of these ends that I'm just not going to weave in because I'm wearing the sweater, so I don't care. It is what it is. So this awesome neckline and here is some of the sleeve. So as you guys see it's going like this because there are some decreases in the sleeve which is really cool. Yeah, It's gonna give it this nice look. I don't know how to explain that but this is it. So here it is. Oh, guys, this is gonna look so good. I'm so excited. So this is how much I can get done in seven days. Like, hello? This is a nice oversized sweater for me. This is a size small. And it has beautiful ease. I love the ease, as you guys know. I just, mm, I love ease on sweaters and... This yard is so cozy. It's double stranded fingering. So this is gonna block out beautifully to drape on this. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice. Oh, I literally can't wait just so I can block it. Like blocking is magic. I feel like blocking is like one of my favorite parts of the entire knitting process because like I said, it's like magic. It like changes when you put it in water and take it out and ring it. Not, not like this. Not like this. Just yeah, yeah. <sighs> that's gonna be it for this video it was nice and chill just me knitting on this sweater I got a lot of progress done like dude it's gonna be a week tomorrow since I started this sweater and I am almost done with it I will get to halfway through the sleeve tonight and then possibly finish it tomorrow I don't know we shall see you guys will see in the next vlog but I'm definitely gonna finish before the no or by the end of the month I could finish before the end of the month but I'm gonna give myself until the end of the month so then yeah so then I'll finish in like a week in a few days which is crazy I've never finished a sweater in less than two weeks before so that's gonna be very interesting and a great accomplishment that I don't plan on doing again.
because that's just that's just too much stress on my hands even if I don't really feel it you know so don't recommend don't do it okay it's not that healthy but if you want to challenge yourself and know that you can do it then do it just not frequently anyway I think that's it that's all I have for you guys I'm pretty sure I'm going to work on this more today probably stay up a little bit to edit this video for tomorrow because i do like i said have to film more tomorrow and do a bunch tomorrow so yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys worked on during this video and also if you've ever knitted a sweater in less than two weeks before i would love to know because that is crazy don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever i post another video also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I update you guys on any and everything dealing with me, my yarn, my projects, and just everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one.